Hey everyone, welcome, we're back. <clears throat> so now we're gonna be going through our second activity where we're gonna use our nested loops. Uh, and if you recall in this activity, we're gonna um, help create an animation on the micro bit that responds to sound to keep the kill deer nest safe. Um, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna start by deleting both the on start and the forever blocks. So can you click on these and simply drag them and place them over top of the drawers so they get deleted. And this time what we're gonna do, because it's remember if someone's walking close, we wanna kind of alert them. So when you walk, you actually make a loud noise. So with that being said, can you click on your um, fuchsia colored input drawer and you're gonna scroll down until you see microbit V2 and then on loud sound. So this means when you hear a loud sound, something's gonna happen. So now on this, you're going to, we're gonna use our nested loop. So which really means a loop within a loop. So we're gonna click on our green loop drawer and we're gonna take the repeat four times do block and place it inside of on loud sound. Now we're gonna chase this, uh, sorry, change this number to two. And now we're gonna make an animation. So we wanna make an animation to say like, uh oh, watch out, you're getting close. So how we're gonna do that is click on your blue basic drawer and scroll down until you see the show icon heart block. And then take that block, place it inside the, uh, the loop and then click the little drop down arrow to the right and change this from a heart to an X, which you can see along the first row. All right, now we're gonna do the same thing. Um, we're gonna like take another one of these blocks. So you could follow the same routine I just did, or you can click the blue block you already have to be efficient and two finger tap on a Chromebook or right click if you have a mouse and you'll see this option to duplicate. So two finger tap or right click and you'll see the option to duplicate the block. And so you should have these two blue blocks touching one another. Now I'm not gonna have a X because we want it to be an animation which means flashing between two different images. So in this case, remember, if we're walking close and we're gonna step on this nest potentially, we're gonna put a sad face, X in a sad face because this is something we do not want to do. Now we have to add our nested loop, which by this means putting a loop within a loop. So we're gonna go back and click on our green loops drawer and we're gonna repeat uh, four times do block again. And this time we're gonna place it um, right underneath the blue, but still inside the other loop. So take that, so you should have that there. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna change this one from four to three. So I'm gonna change this to three. And now we're gonna signal people where to walk, so to not hit the nest. So we're gonna click on our blue basic drawer again, and I'm gonna grab the large show LED block. Now I might have to shrink my, uh, my size and my screen here just to make it easier. And now we're just gonna draw an arrow. You can change to the arrow whichever way you see fit, um, but we're just gonna highlight to make it go one way. And now that they've avoided um, this nest, we're gonna put a happy face in. So I'm gonna duplicate this block and now just simply show a happy face. So here it is. There's the happy face. And the last thing we have to do is just grab our clear screen block to clear content. So click your blue basic drawer grab your clear screen block and place it in between uh, the loops, just like that. We hope this is helpful and best of luck.